Today on Horseland, Molly's friends from the city become lost in the wilds of Horseland. Where could they be? Their only hope for rescue is Molly and the team. Shep, what on earth are you doing? Yeah, Shep, why are you looking at all the stalls? I just want to make sure everything's perfect. It's the day before the big event, you know. <laughs> perfect? You want perfect? Then it's time for someone around here to take a bath. Angora. Why, I'm the cleanest pig around. Clean, clean, clean. Maybe so, but you're still a pig. Do you see what I have to put up with around here? Attitude, arguments, bad moods. Oh, I get it now. You're referring to Molly. Yep, she hasn't been herself lately. She's been moody all this week. The girl's showing us that something is wrong. Now we just have to figure out what that is. Okay, the quadrille is going to be the toughest part of the competition. Molly, Clipso is coming in later than she should. Yeah, yeah, we'll work on that. Maybe I should practice with you. When are you going to work on it, today? I don't know when, but I said I'll work on it, okay? Molly, we only have a few days left until the competition. I think we really need to get in sync. Well, I think it'd be a lot more fun around here if you guys would just relax. Relax? Before a competition? Get real. Gotta make this place nice for tomorrow. Hey, mucking out stalls is the easy part. There, I thought we all looked pretty good out there. Anybody nervous? I always feel anxious before a dressage event. There are so many things that can go wrong. It's not like I don't love to be on my horse and all, but sometimes the judges are too much like our parents. They're looking at you like, hey, I saw your hand move before that last passage. What are they complaining about now? If you listened to these kids, you'd think they all hated to compete. I don't understand, Shep. Why isn't Molly joining in like she always does? I don't know. It seems like something's bothering Molly. It's not like her to be so reserved. Has she said anything? Nope, but if she wants to tell us what's wrong, she'll tell us. I mean, we're her friends. Who's she going to talk to if not us? I'm not so sure civilized is the right word for you guys. <laughs> Woo! Those are tough words coming from someone who smells like you. Whoa, Jasmine's right. You stink, girl. Is that what horses smell like? Because if it is, I'm not so sure I want to be smelling one live and in person. Oh, yeah? Take a good whiff. Ew! <laughs> okay, okay. Stop, please. You guys are too much. I just hope you're not too much for Horseland. You know, you really don't have to come to the competition this weekend. What? And miss all the fun? We'll hold our noses. Actually, I can't wait to see you perform. I'm dying to know what's so special about horses. Oh, and I know what I'm bringing. Oh no, what's that? Take out from Mr. Foos, because who knows what kind of food we're gonna get out there in the country. Oh yeah, some dim sum and maybe some of those sesame. You guys, you're not going to another planet. There's plenty of food at Horseland. Yeah, but is there popcorn shrimp with the side of black bean sauce? No, but there's plenty of hay, lots and lots of hay. Are there oats to go with it? <laughs> Well, no one's ever going to accuse you two of being too serious. Hey, Alma, what's so interesting? I'm looking at Scarlet's natural gait. She moves beautifully, like a ballerina. Yeah, before you know it, she'll be dancing the Nutcracker. What? It's a joke, get it? Nutcracker, it's a ballet? Forget it. I should have known better than to try to make a joke before the big competition. We're all just preoccupied with tomorrow's competition. Of course you were thinking about the competition. That's all anyone ever thinks about around here. Why is Molly acting so strangely? It's not like that joke was even that funny. There, 
now. That's a good girl. We had a good day, didn't we, mi amiga? Oops! Can you be a little more careful, Molly? Oh, sorry I disturbed you. Why don't you just go back to worrying about the competition? I'm not worrying. In fact, I was just hoping that someone would make a really loud noise. There. Everybody happy? Something is so wrong here. Um, Molly, I have to go into the city tonight. Would you like to ride home with me? The city? On the night before a competition? Give me a break. I was just... I'm sorry. Just forget it. You didn't have to be so mean, you know. I know, Calypso, I know. I'm not being very nice. But I'm just so afraid that when Jasmine and Amber meet these guys tomorrow, it's going to be like the Clash of the Titans. One side's all play, and the other's all work. <sighs> I just wish there was some way to make sure they'd all like each other. Oh, good. Then nobody's going to eat that. If I ride horses, can I eat like you? Where does it go? If you knew how hard I'm going to be working tomorrow, you'd feel up too. Work? I thought tomorrow was all about fun. Do you want to hear the cheer I made up for you? I have a feeling nothing I say will stop you. Molly, Molly on the horse. She's going to win the race, of course. Listen to me. That's fun and everything, but this competition is serious. There are rules, you know. No running, no shouting, no sudden movements, no waving, and absolutely, positively, no cheers. Is everyone out there on this horse farm that serious? They're more serious than I am right now. Oh, it sounds like so much fun. Not. Don't listen to her, Molly. We just want to see you do your thing. We'll be like flies on the wall. Horse flies, that is. <laughs> 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 No good mornings. Why is everyone so tense? Everyone's always tense in the morning before a big competition. But today is a lot more tense than usual. We should go through the quadrille one more time. We haven't practiced enough because someone has been un poquito gruñón, a little grumpy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, well, I don't think I'll have time right now. There's something else I have to do. More important than the competition? What could possibly be more important today? Lots of things. I just don't get it. Well, here we are. Ugh. Come on! Excuse me, did you happen to notice a couple of girls from the city? Don't know. There were a lot of people on the bus today. I think there's some kind of horse thing going on. You could say that. These girls are about my age, and they giggle a lot. Oh, those girls. They got off two stops ago. Oh, no! Thank you! Oh, Calypso, they must be lost. Why didn't they call me? Now what am I going to do? Maybe for the next competition, we could all chip in and buy Molly a watch or a beeper or something. Molly! Where have you been? What happened? You're filthy. Molly, why didn't you change your clothes? How can you embarrass Horseland like this? I'm sorry. Don't look at me. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. 
No, I don't mean I'm sorry for being rude to Sarah. Well, actually, I am sorry about that. But I'm also sorry for something else. I didn't mean for this to happen. But my friends Amber and Jasmine wanted to come today, and they rode the bus, but they got off at the wrong stop, and now they're wandering around somewhere. And I've got to find them, and I hate to do this to you, but I have to go because, because I just don't know what else to do. Well, the first thing you should do is take a deep breath, and then you can tell us why you had some friends coming and didn't bother to tell any of us about it. Well, I guess I thought maybe you wouldn't like them. And maybe you really thought your friends wouldn't like us. Alma, let it go. What matters is that Molly's friends are wandering around lost somewhere. I think her friends are much more important than this competition. Let's go find them. Oh, no, you won't. Oh, see, we will. Yeah, rescuing lost girls is what I call an adventure. Hold this, will you? We've got a competition to miss. Please tell Will that we won't be appearing in the competition today. Can you believe this? I mean, really, what kind of friends are these that wouldn't like me? Alma, that isn't it. I just don't know if you'll be compatible. Well, let's go find them. Where could they be? I don't see them anywhere. Not unless they're really, really short. So funny I forgot to laugh, Bailey. I can't believe I let them down. Where could they be? Why didn't they just sit here and wait for me? They're lost, and it's all my fault. Do they have cell phones? Would they have called? Let me check my phone. There's no cellular service out here. Where do you think they would have gone? Well, if it were me and I wanted to see my friend doing something that she loved to do, I would not wait around for her to find me. I'd figure out a way to get to that competition. You know what? You're right. You would do that, and so would I, and so would Jasmine and Amber. I think if we follow the road, we'll probably find them walking to Horseland. If they have to walk that far, I'm going to hear about it for the rest of my life. Unless these girls are, like, super fast, we would have passed them by now. Do you think they got a ride with somebody? Uh, Bailey, you know everybody around here, but they don't know anyone, and they never would have gotten in a car with a stranger. You are so right. You know, it's amazing how much you guys are actually alike. You mean they're big and strong and can ride like the wind? I've got to meet these girls. I don't know why Bailey thinks he's so funny. No one here has ever laughed at these jokes. <laughs> Don't worry, Bailey. You're about to make two new friends who will laugh at your jokes. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If I so much as see one of those slithery things, you'll have to take me back to the city in a straitjacket. I so do not like snakes. Don't worry. This is my favorite shortcut to Horseland, and I've never seen a snake in all the times I've ridden here. Cool. Well, I'm just glad we ran into you. Yeah. I can't believe you're going to Horseland, too. You know, something tells me friends of yours wouldn't be lost for long. They're probably already there at Horseland waiting for me. But if they're not, we need to call the police to help find them. Come on, girl. Let's go home. <laughs> I'm sure they're here at Horseland somewhere. Oh, they could be anywhere. How are we ever going to figure out where? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I know that laugh. Come on. Hey, look what we found. Her name is Buttercup, and we love her. This nice lady who was on her way to Horseland showed us a cool shortcut. I am so relieved to see you. Well, come on. Do you want to see the rest of the place, or do you just want to sit here all day? You could introduce us to your friends first. Oh, yeah. Jasmine, Amber, meet Sarah, Alma, and Bailey. Okay, it's official. Are you guys ready to go? Let me just give Buttercup one more hug. Goodbye, Buttercup baby. We're really excited. We can't wait to see you perform. Except... Except you don't look so good. I mean, your friends... They clean up nice. But shouldn't you at least have on a jacket or something? There isn't going to be a performance today. 
I'm sorry. No performance? Why not? Well, we forfeited the competition so that we could come and look for you. What? But these competitions mean so much to you. And we can take care of ourselves. You know that. I know you usually can, but you've never been here before. Of course I was worried about you. We all were. Any friend of Molly's is a friend of ours. You mean you all forfeited? That's so sweet and so stupid. Come on, Jasmine. Where are you going? Any friend of yours is a friend of ours, and we're going to get you all back in that competition. <laughs> That's a nice thought, but the rules of dressage are very strict. Yeah. If you say you're going to forfeit, you're done until the next competition. We'll see about that. I can't believe this. I really can't believe they're letting us back in. I mean, I knew you guys had the gift of gab, but I never knew it was such a gift. How in the world did you get us back into the competition? I'm sure it was my great charm, sophistication, and poise. Come on, really. How did you do it? Do you remember Buttercup, the horse we walked here with? She belongs to that nice lady we met, who just happens to be... Judge number three! I'm a little nervous. We all are. As, As a, late a late entry, entry due, due to, to special circumstances, circumstances we, we have the, the rest of the of team, team from, from Horse Lab. <laughs> the greatest thing I've ever seen. For a minute there, it looked like you and Calypso were flying across the arena. Girl, we're so proud of you. Thank you so much for coming. I loved it. I loved every minute of it. We will definitely be taking that horse land bus again. And this time, we'll get off at the right stop. Whoa, you got ribbons. What does that mean? It means Horseland didn't win. It also means that if Molly wants to bring her so-called friends to another competition, let's hope she can find someone who can read a map. And your little dog, too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I ever thought you all wouldn't get along. I don't understand either. Why are they so happy? Didn't they want Horseland to win today? Of course they did, Tina. But they also realized that friends are more important than winning. Hey, Jasmine, draw a picture of me on Aztec. This is called a pirouette, Jasmine. The horse spins in place, kind of like a ballerina. In my next life, I want to be that graceful and sitting on a beautiful horse. Why wait? You can sit on Scarlet. Oh, this is so cool. Hey, girl, you know there's something I've been dying to do all day. <clears throat> Horseland, Horseland, it's the place. I'd rather be here than outer space. Horseland, Horseland, number one. It's tons and tons and tons of fun. <laughs> that was like the worst cheer I've ever heard. But I like your style. Have any of you seen how much pizza Molly can put away? Must be that long bus ride that makes a girl so hungry. Speaking of which, I know two people who took that same long bus ride today. And you know what that means. <gasps> pizza! Yes! <laughs> 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 Now that the competition is over, things can finally get back to normal. Oh, I gotta get my beauty sleep. They get up and eat. Thank goodness. I've barely had my ears scratched all week. Not to mention all my interrupted nap times. Oh, good night. <laughs> Corn. Cabbage. Oh, so hungry. Yep, things are back to normal. And Molly should be in a much better mood from now on. Why is that? She understands that even though all her friends may have wildly different personalities, they can still all be friends with each other. Oh, I like those new friends, especially Amber. Ship, ship, will I keep you? You are getting on my nerves. Okay, the spot's warm now. 
sometimes it's amazing how different good friends can be.